I guess that means I should probably start. I'm going to pick Romilia because I picked her the f time when I was practicing, and it'll probably be fine. I uh, don't read well enough on my own to pick all of this up and translate it for you, so I'm just going to click past it. And then we'll get to the action at some point. And it'll be good. So, if it wasn't exactly clear, she's a vampire from the coffin in her four-poster bed. But you got uh, your basic attacks, you've got a couple of skill attacks, you can jump, and various other things. I'm gonna read the newspaper. Um, I don't actually know what the plot is because I didn't bother to uh, translate it for myself yet. I'm assuming there's some sort of disturbance in Genso Kyo, and uh, she's gonna go hunt down whoever's responsible for it. The general plot of Toho is basically somebody causes a ruckus, somebody goes and investigates it, and shoots bullets at them until they stop. This isn't one of the standard shooters though, it's a spin-off fan game. So instead of shooting bullets at them, I'll go around in sort of the 3D world and uh, beat up little enemies and then get bullets shot at me when I reach the boss. Which is perhaps not the greatest in the way of explanations, but it will have to do for now because I am not the greatest in the way of streaming and making good content. Although I'm sure that will come with time. Uh, so we have the minimap in the upper left corner. And, yeah, the Japanese, particularly the uh, the Toto fanboys, can make some amazing fan games. So, the quality is not to be uh, belittled in any way. Um, destroying vases usually contains little health relics that will fill me up. So I try to destroy a lot of vases. You may have also seen earlier that I picked up an item, I think. I can go into my menu, and there are a lot of various stats. This one will let me equip items. And see, I picked up Surudoi something something, which is better than default, so I'll just equip that. And I think that's my head slot or my body slot. I don't honestly know. I don't have anything to equip in any of the other slots yet. But yes, Tohovania is also a good one. I might stream that at some time. Oh no, Nightmare cannot get the video to load. I, uh, I'm not sure how to help him. Can he hear my voice? Yeah, so this vase icon is like picking up item drops. The other things that happen when you kill enemies are usually they leave like gold and little experience nuggets that you can collect to eventually level up. Uh, and the equips can have like a ridiculous effect because you notice previously I was uh, like not even being able to one round the fairies but now uh, after equipping the whatever it was I found they go down in like two hits. So every time I pick up something, I'm going to compare, see if it's better or worse than things I've already got. Okay, apparently Twitch just hates Iran. I don't know how to help Nightmare. But for the moment, I'm just going to wander around the various areas of the map, 
grab some loot, kill some enemies, take unnecessary damage. Honestly, um, from my experience, this game is not in any way what I would call challenging, but I only was probably playing like the prologue, so maybe it steps it up. <laughs> Who else would have uh, a nickname like Ravishing Recruit? I'm sorry, you kind of gave yourself away. It's an awesome nickname. I, I, I am pleased to see that it belongs to you. Yeah, being able to read the little Japanese tidbits is also a lot of fun. I've always enjoyed it ever since I picked up hiragana and katakana and you know just the more you learn the more tidbits you can get and uh, my goal is eventually to someday become moderately fluent I guess that's a health I should pick up there we go cry every time indeed I'm not exactly sure how long the delay between the stream and the chat actually is, so I guess that's something I will pick up on as I get experience. bigger fairy there is actually kind of challenging. So let's, uh... Oh, there's actually a move that I forgot that I have, which does a crap ton of damage, but takes a while to charge up. I think that's the, uh, the big square in the lower left. Whenever that gets filled up, I can use the, uh, the finishing move, which I believe is probably referred to as a spell card after the actual name of the techniques in the shooter games themselves. Um, but also you do see that I, I hit level 2, which I believe just gives me some more stats and some more health. Although if I'm correct, I remember at some point I unlocked an additional skill, so I'll have to double check and see when that shows up. Ooh, increase the item drop rate. Yes, let's do that. Okay, this might have been what gives me the additional skill. So let's check our skills. See if we want to swap out Vampire Turn. No, I didn't actually pick up the uh, other skill that I got when I was testing out the game. But that may arrive in the future. So, for a while here, it's mostly just beating up fairies and wolves and the occasional frog. But, at some point, we'll get to um, the boss, which I believe was Luna Child. Who I th think first appeared in Fairy Wars, which was not a mainline game, but it was a officially sanctioned spin-off. 
kind of like the fighting games, except unlike the fighting game, it was actually just a different type of shooter. It does appear that you can cancel bullets by attacking them properly, so that is useful information to have. Let's just kill these giant mushrooms. Um, what was over here? More mushrooms. And... Okay. I thought there was a treasure chest. That must be on the other side of the bridge. Um, so your default jump is just a, a little hop. If you press and hold, you can sort of flutter hover. Yeah, uh, this came out, I believe, at the Summer Comic Hit just this year, uh, in August. So you can probably acquire it through shady means. And I don't believe... I don't know. I, I would have to uh, check into that, but yeah. Um. Oh, I guess I sound nervous. That's possible. I will not confirm or deny. I could uh, I could show you some of the main games at some other point if you were interested. Anybody. Um, Maybe just upload a replay to YouTube or something. Or I guess I could stream those too. But um, I'm kind of bad at the main games and do a lot of trial and error, so it would probably be incredibly boring to watch. Whereas this is kind of, you know, face roll easy. I'll just walk around, smash stuff, and never die. Why not? I have it. I'll abuse it. Oh wow, that hits even things on the top of the screen? That is kind of overpowered. As if, as if this game needed it to become any more easy. So yeah, I'm just gonna speed past everything here and see if I can take on the boss at... Oops. Oh god. Well, Apparently, if I fall in the water, I die. Good to know. Yeah, I know Trial and Error is... pretty legit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you saw me Trial and Error my way through, Alice. Uh, so you know what it's all about. That Hatter fight, though, oh, that was a pain in the half. But I think you actually missed that, so... Unfortunate for you. Or maybe fortunate. I can't imagine it was very pleasant to... watch me get my ass handed to me repeatedly. Actually, let's get this treasure chest. I don't know what's in it, but treasure chests are probably good things to always get. Alright, let's see. I've got... Well, this one has pretty decent stats. Doesn't lose much in the way of item drop percentage. More flat HP. Never gonna turn that down. Alright, did I pick up... Oops. Did I pick up a new skill yet? Nope. Okay. That must have been a rare drop I got previously, or just a treasure chest that I didn't bother to go find this time. Oh yeah, just ask Jay or Polly about the Hatter fight then, I guess. That was... it was pretty bad. I, uh... 
I was on that one for forever. Okay, I don't remember how to get back up the cliff. So I guess I'll just kill some... Oh, here we go. Let's kill this vine thing. There's probably something this direction. Maybe. Okay, let's kill this big fairy. Because I can. Alright, where do I need to go? Oh yeah, actually I think, if I remember correctly, although the map lists this as a dead end, there might just be a secret wall I can walk through. I'll have to double check. Yep, okay, here we go. Sequence breaking! Don't tell the game, but I'm a dirty cheater. Oh, I guess I can't really call it cheating when it's clearly intended. Oh my god, what is that? I don't remember ever seeing that before. Let's, let's kill it. Okay, well, I could have sworn that there was a big fairy somewhere around here, because it shot at me. I was going to kill at it for that alone, but... Unless a regular fairy just made a big bullet like that. Um, so I guess I could mention that uh, Romilia Scarlet here made her first appearance in the first Windows game called Embodiment of the Scarlet Devil, which is Toho 6, the sixth game total. The other games were out for the uh, PC-98 console in Japan, and so if you wanted to play those you would have to uh, have an emulator. But, uh, she was the final boss of that one. She... If I remember correctly, the incident was basically, like, she turned the moon red so she could go outside or something. I don't remember. She's a vampire, anyway. She has a maid who throws knives and can stop time, uh, called Sakia, who I believe is the other character that I could have been playing as. It's another one of those slug things. I didn't remember that enemy coming up before, but clearly it does come up. And we are getting ever closer to the boss here. Which I'm pretty sure I could still take, although last time I was like another level higher. It's just... oh yeah, no, here... Here's the other skill that I picked up at some point. I'll just equip it so you can see what it does, although I'm not a big fan of it. 
because it takes all three of my little skill icons in the lower left. Um, it's harder to aim, and the damage increase doesn't seem like three times the damage of one of the other skills, so I'll probably just go ahead and unequip it quickly here. So now we get like a side view of the lake here, and a little more plot. It's like, uh, what sort of noise was that? Something, something. I got a bad feeling about this. I don't know. I'm not going to bother actually trying to give a concrete and accurate narrative. So the trees will actually kind of be annoying and get in your way there. Okay. You hope I die by failing randomly. You are such a good friend. I hope you have a good day at school tomorrow. And that, like, you pass all of your quizzes and your presentations go well. <laughs> It's okay, I don't really mind. It's all in good fun. So we come across... So that gazebo is where I actually need to go, if I remember correctly. As always, the little crows are always the most difficult game. Uh, enemy in every game. Like, you know, Ninja Gaiden, what kills you most? It'll be the crows. Yep. So, I'm not sure why that newspaper article is there. But I think if I keep going this way, I'll get to a treasure chest and a dead end. But let's grab whatever was in that treasure chest. Looks like a red nail or something, which is probably one of my items that I equip in like an arm slot or something to increase my damage. But that could just be me talking out of my ass. Which one of these is better? Less damage, higher criticals. No, let's go with the one I currently have on. Alright, well, I think I've got everything up optimally here. And so we find a fairy mastermind who appears to apologize, but then decides to fight us. I don't know. I, I didn't pay close attention to the plot. Maybe I'll do that at some point, but for now I was just gonna fool around and see how I liked things. So let's start off, jump at her, and use my big spell. That does a huge chunk of her health. And then the rest of the fight, it can charge back up or something. Oops, that's not the button I wanted. Did not intend to pause. I was going to throw my Gugner Spears at her from long range. Also, uh, if you use the attack button while jumping, you'll do sort of a dive attack, which does almost no damage, but helps you close the distance. I always have key troubles remembering which, which button does what, so I'll probably pull up the pause menu way more than I need to. And let's dodge most of those orbs. And like I said, this game is pretty easy because I'm getting hit by everything and I've still got a commanding lead on her and she's almost dead. Which in some aspects is disappointing because when I play like East. It's got some awesome difficulty, which makes for a lot of fun trying to learn boss patterns. But here it's just like, walk into them and kill them. Which I guess has its own charm. And I mean, the, the music remixes are good, the graphics are great, it's an awesome fan game. 
And maybe there's an unlockable like hard mode or something somewhere. I can hope, right? <laughs> anyway, so we we return home to our mansion and it's been totally trashed, so I guess that's this is where I quit last time. And I guess the next order of business is to figure out who's responsible for this and shut them down. Um although not sure how to go about doing that. Is that police tape? <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, so... Let's see... What's what? Oh, it's Mei Ling. She's supposed to be the gatekeeper. And it looks like she's failed once again as usual. And now I'm in the library. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that would have been the, the better plan. Close the door so the animals don't get inside. Talking to my librarian here. Not quite sure what we're discussing. But maybe she'll tell me how to save the game, because I didn't figure that out previously. It could just be like certain checkpoints or something. Yeah, that looks like it was an autosave icon, so that was probably... Oh, and I can move around and visit places. But I can apparently only visit places with actual icon things. Okay, well, Mei Ling is no longer around. Do I just talk to Patchy to leave again, or do I just leave? Okay, clearly I just leave. Auto save in progress. That's what that icon says. Okay, so that's how I save. Um, I guess I have the option of going top or bottom. But maybe I'll just call this a successful test run and end the stream. And then maybe do something else. I think that went well. Um, although I'm disappointed that Nightmare was having trouble. Um... Okay, well, I guess I have to enter in one of these areas. Let's just see what it looks like. Um, I thought there was a way to exit the game without just, you know, hard exiting it, but maybe not. Oh, okay, so that... That's why I never figured out what that button did, was because I didn't have the map previously. That just takes you back to the map. Um, well, I guess that looks like I just close it, so... I'll log off, sign off, and uh, catch you all later.